Today we're going to have a look at the Mont Blanc, aka Mont Blanc fountain pen, a Mont Blanc fountain pen, which uh, was uh, kindly lent to me by Yoast from Applebaum Pennon. Uh, this is a model I've reviewed before, but it's a new finish, so that that will be interesting. We're talking about the um, Star Walker Racing, uh, sorry, Spirit of Racing Due pen. Showing you the box, the box, the service guide. Mont Blanc is a substantial service guide, but it's in all kinds of languages, which is why. I will show you some illustration, you know, how to fill it, etc. Box itself, pops open, kind of cute, nice pen bed, and uh, that's the box. Simple box. In a way, I kind of like these, these Mont Blanc boxes. They're very simple, they're very functional, though. No, no, no frills. I, I, I kind of like that. Okay, then we have the pen, the Star Walker. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Now we'll do a writing sample. One of the really cool things, cool things about the uh, Star Walker model, I think, is the finial. Because, of course, you have the peaks of the Mont Blanc. Um, but, interestingly enough, this is not just any peak of the Mont Blanc. Uh, this is a floating thing, suspended in time. It's like the Han Solo in Carbonite of pens, and it's just floating around in a clear dome, which I just think is cool. Okay, enough gushing over that. Then we have the uh, very chrome-colored cap. Uh, right there on the top, it says Mont Blanc, and uh, there is a serial number and all that on the uh, clip, which I can actually see reflected in the cap, which is kind of neat. Uh, so we have that clip, which always reminds me a bit of a harpoon for some reason on this this model let's check it out pretty stiff but should work yeah no issues although that is a that's a stiff grip be careful you don't rip off your pocket okay so the spirit of racing the barrel pattern this is supposed to be the uh, uh, the tire uh, tread so the um, uh, the, the like the the profile of a tire uh, on on a, uh, a racing car. Then at the end here we have some threads, right there. This one stickered, fine nib, and then the end cap. Metal. This overlay is, I I it's not metal. Some sort of plastic. Here we have the section. Interesting pattern. I wonder if that's also some race car thing, like a fuel hose or something. I, I uh, that reminds me a bit of the Porsche Tech Flex. And then we have the nib shape, which is uh, not a very uh, classic nib design. It's it's more modern. You have that. And in all, it makes for a, a pretty thin pen. Threads at the back, though, so you can screw on the cap to post it. You have a pretty big pen that's also really quite top heavy because that's a lot of metal in the cap there. Although this is a Mont Blanc, it's not a piston filler. It's a cartridge converter filled pen and this is... Um, some would probably consider that a, a freak show to put this in because I think this is a 50 cent Chinese converter in a Mont Blanc, but it was what fit. So I had to use it. Okay, well, section shape, it's kind of barrel shape, or sort of, sort of, sorry, sorry, sort of cylinder shaped. Um, so there's that. The nib says 585, so it's 18 karat gold and Mont Blanc, it has the Mont Blanc snowflake on it again, also known as the peaks of the mountain. Why do I keep saying Mont Blanc? Because sometimes I just want to say Mont Blanc instead of Mont Blanc. Small joys in life. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Of the Mont Blanc pens, this is not my favorite model. It's just the way it is. Everybody has their preferences, and this isn't mine. Um, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the pen. It's just that I like the, the, the more classic looking Meisterstück range a bit more than this. Um, 560 euros, that's uh, that's not cheap. Um, 
and for that you get a cartridge converter filled pen, you do get a gold nib, uh, and um, you, you get a Mont Blanc, which for some people uh, in itself is, is worth it. This would be a really cool pen for the car lover in your circles, uh, because of the, the tire tracks, all that stuff. I, I, I mean, I, I understand the appeal, the thing is just that I am not a car person, at all. So for me this really does nothing, but I understand that people who are who like racing, there's, there's a crowd out there, uh, they would enjoy such a thing. So I think in that regard it's it's, it's very cool. Um, as I said before, it's, it's really quite top heavy when it's posted like this. And yet there are threads at the back of the uh, barrel suggesting that you're supposed to post it as you write. Well, the posting is very secure this way, that is true. Uh, another nice thing is that the uh, the... the clip and the cap, uh, sorry, the, sorry, the clip and the nib sort of line up when you post it. That's bonus points because that just looks cool. Uh, so they've, they've done it well. It's just that it gets very heavy and I don't think it's very pleasant. Uh, without it, it's it's fairly light, but comfortable, comfortably light. It's a, it's a nice pen for longer writing sessions. At the end of the day, it's a pricey pen. It's a cartridge converter filled pen with a gold nib and it's a Moblau. And whether that's worth it, that's entirely up to you. For some people, it will definitely be worth it. This wouldn't be the Mont Blanc I would buy, and for this price, you can actually, you're sort of getting into the, slowly getting into the 146 range. That would be the pen I would prefer. But that's also a very classic design. And what happened here, I'm sure, is that Mont Blanc thought, you know what? We should be hip, in it. And then they decided to, to design something like this. And that works. If you want to appeal to a younger or a hipper or modern or whatever you like to call that crowd, um, I think you could you could do worse than than attempt to revamp your brand and and try and and make a pen that that looks different from what you usually do, and they did. So, cartridge converter can be an issue. On the other hand, it's it's easier on the road, right? If you can just pop in a new cartridge as opposed to having to carry a bottle of ink and a cloth and all that stuff. I don't think they did badly. It's an interesting pen. Joost, thanks for lending it to me. I appreciate it. Um, we need to see a writing sample. That's what's coming up next. High resolution pictures, as well as measurements of the pen, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. Hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Okay, so there we go with the... Mont Blanc Starwalker. I'm not going to write down Spirit of Racing, I'm just going to write down Racing, sorry. Uh, the uh, nib is a fine and the ink is just the Mont Blanc Royal Blue. Writing, I must say, pleasantly smooth. For a fine nib especially, nice, pleasant, the camera always makes things sound very scratchy because it picks up that, that noise very well. Um, there is some feedback, but it's very pleasant. It's a, it's a smooth experience, uh, just a bit of, of pleasant feedback, but no scratchiness. Maybe a bit of fast writing. And as you can see, the pen keeps up very well, so a very nicely adjusted uh, uh, nib, I would say. Wetness of the pen, as I said, pretty good. Writes nicely, a fairly wet line, and there is some line variation to be had, but I am uh, I'm really pushing this nib here, so I wouldn't expect an enormous amount there. And that's all that's to it, so Yoast. Thanks a lot for sending me this pen. Reverse writing, as you can see, is or here, is pretty scratchy and doesn't really work that well. But there you have it. Guys, I hope this was useful so far. And um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.